Hey what's up guys, Sebastian here from greenmusicproductions.com. Today I'm here to talk about a really cool plugin called Dehumanizer 2 by Krotos. And for those who don't know, uh, I've done a lot of sound design and mixing for trailers and videos, mainly for video games. So uh, this plugin is amazing uh, because it's so good at designing monster voices, robot voices, creatures, aliens, water creatures, all kinds of stuff. And it's also really useful for music production since it's a really creative tool and the pitch shifting algorithm is actually really good. So let's dive right in. The first thing that we can know Notice is that the UI design is actually really simple. It's so good in my opinion, one of the best design I've seen. Uh, because this plugin is really powerful and you have a lot of different modules, it could be really complicated, but it's so easy to understand. I didn't really need to read the manual to understand it. It kind of looks like uh, the Unreal Engine for those who worked in video games that work with the Unreal Engine. So you're working with nodes. So you're basically dragging modules uh, from the top here to uh, this part. And as you can see, uh, they have numbers besides them. So I just use one ring modulator so I can use one more in uh, this particular plugin. And you have a total of 10 modules. So the way it works is that you just uh, grab the output of one module, you bring it to the input of the other one, and you do it again to bring it to the output. So it's super easy to create a chain and you can do it in parallel by adding outputs. Um, it's so simple and it's super easy to get the results you're looking for really fast. So if we click on the three lines right here on the modules, we can get uh, some settings. These are basically macros. Uh, they're settings that you think that you use the most because if you select that node, all of the settings will appear down here. So you can tweak everything you need but the most common ones appear right here. You can change them by right clicking on one. Let's say I want to remove the rate, I can remove it. I right click again and I assign it to slot B, which is the second button, and I can choose what I want to assign. So let's say uh, the blend oscillator, I just added that there. So it's super easy to tweak and it's clean. So uh, every time you select a new node, the new settings will appear down there. Uh, for every single nodes, you have an EQ, a limiter, and a gate. The EQ has six bands, so it's more than enough to do uh, what you're looking for. And the limiter is also super straightforward, all the basic settings. First, I would like to listen to the track that I recorded just to show you that you don't need to be a super good voiceover artist to get some good results out of this plugin. I did it really bad on purpose. <clears throat> so don't laugh at me, please. Let's listen to what I did first. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. I am a monster. I am scary. So as you can see, the two parts there are really different. I wanted to do two different performances just to show you the different results that you can get. So most of the user will be able to find what they're looking for in the presets. There's a lot of good presets out there and let's look at them and see what's in there. So first, the growls and roars, uh, you have three categories, aquatic, beasts and creatures. These are settings that are not so intelligible. It's really hard to understand what the person is saying. They're more like creative things like monster sounds and monster growls and noises. So let's listen to a couple of aquatic uh, settings first. Giant on the water beast. Let's listen to that. <laughs> So really cool stuff. It doesn't sound anything like what I recorded, but that's a good thing if, if it's what you're looking for. Uh, now let's go in beasts. Uh, let's try just a beast. I really like the textures that it's adding in the higher frequencies, like kind of like the throat texture. So as you can see, uh, the design of this sound is not so complicated. You have three parallel uh, chains. One is a pitch shifting uh, that is two octaves lower. One is a granular module with some grain pitching uh, and a delay pitching. 
So this is all going to the output. And what's super nice is that when you're designing your own sounds, you can always solo a single node, uh, mute it or bypass it if you want. And these are volumes. So let's say I don't like the pitch shifting to be too loud. I can lower the volume there. So let's listen to what this one is doing. <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's listen to the granular uh, module. And now the delay pitching. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. Yeah, so all combines together, they make this epic monster uh, sounds. So that's really cool. Now, if we go into uh, creatures, let's try one just to, to see how it sounds like. Aggressive little creature. That sounds funny. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. If we go in dialogue, uh, these are settings that are a lot more understandable. So we can understand what I'm saying a lot more than the growls and roars. So let's try in the monster sections again, uh, Angry Giant. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. I am a monster. I am scary. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's try the next one, which is another monster. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. So I really like this, but I would use less of the flanger chorus. Um, so let's try to lower the depth a little bit and maybe the mix. Let's not put it 100%. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. This I am a monster. I am scary. This is closer to what I would use. So again, you have a lot of stuff. Let's try robots. These are pretty good too. Uh, Aqua droid. <laughs> Let's try this one. Yeah, I can I can see an aquatic android. <laughs> Let's try a basic vocoder. So yeah, the vocoder is actually pretty good in this too. Um, this will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. This reminds me of uh, Intergalactic from Beastie Boys. That kind of sound. So that's really cool. Um, let's try another one. Not a big fan of this kind of uh, robots. Let's try another one. So as you can see, the presets are really different from one another. Um, you also have some radio settings if you want. Let's try uh, one out. This will be your last mistake. Okay, this is not amazing. Let's try another one. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. So this is more like a monster on the phone. <laughs> we have the basic telephone patch. Let's listen to it. This is a lot better uh, what we expect from a telephone. You have a lot of stuff. Let's try to design a patch from scratch. I'm not really uh, used to the plugin that much. So this will show you how easy it is to create a good monster patch. So pitch shifting is always good. So let's just bring a pitch shifting module in there, link it to the output. And I will uh, put the one octave down. Um, let's listen to it now. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. I am a monster. I am scary. This is already pretty good in my opinion, but let's uh, try some other stuff. Let's bring in a granular module and create it in a parallel chain. Uh, link it to the output. This will be your last mistake. Prepare to die. I am a monster. I am scary. Okay, so let's try let's try to solo the granular module and see what it's doing. Okay, 
So I kind of like that. Uh, I'll try to just tweak the EQ of the granular module real fast. Uh, let's press play. This is pretty scary. And what's also really cool is if you go to the output node, uh, you can see the latency that the different effects are bringing. Uh, it's automatically compensated. Uh, you can tweak the dry and wet. So let's say I want to bring in some dry signal. This will be really bad in this case, but let's try it out. Prepare to die. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that out. And you can also have a stereo spread. This is really useful if you want to make a huge stereo monster. Let's try that out. It's super easy to do. Uh, really cool stuff. And you can always, um, as in most plugin, have an A and B and compare them on the fly. You can save your own presets. Um, so as you can see, I just designed a cool monster sound. Super easy to do. For sure, I'll use that a lot in my future trailers. Uh, I'm always trying to design monsters voices and it's super hard to do. I make it sound realistic. If you're doing music, you could use uh, the effects like the pitch shifting effect, the telephone effects. There are all kinds of stuff like a flanger chorus effect there, a vocoder that is actually really good. So yeah, you can use it uh, as a creative tool to do so many things on your vocals. So uh, I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Go check it out. It's a really, really useful plugin. So thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you like that video, click that like button and subscribe and see you guys in next video. Bye guys.